Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 3 to the power of n plus 2 to the power of n. This is equal to 35. So what is the value of n? What is the value of n? Given that n is a member of positive integers and that n is not equal to 0. So let's provide the solution from here. So we have 3 to the power of n plus 2 to the power of n. This is equal to 35. Now, we can express 3 to the power of n as 3 to the power of n raised to the power of 1, then plus 2 to the power of n raised to the power of 1. This is equal to 35. Now, 1 can be expressed as 3 over 3. And this implies that here we have 3 to the power of n raised to the power of 3 over 3, then plus 2 to the power of n raised to the power of 3 over 3. This is equal to 35. Now, 3 to the power of n raised to the power of 3 over 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m. And this can be expressed as a to the power of n times m. Now, applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of n over 3 raised to the power of 3, then plus 2 to the power of n over 3 raised to the power of 3. This is equal to 35. The next step from here, we can let a to be equal to 3 to the power of n over 3, and we can let b to be equal to 2 to the power of n over 3. Let's substitute a and b into this equation here so that we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is equal to 35. Now, a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is in the form of x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 which we can express as x plus y into the parentheses. This is x squared minus xy, then plus y squared. So this is the sum of two cubes here, so that we can express a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 as a plus b. Then here we have a squared minus a b then plus b squared and you should note that here a and b these are members of positive integers now from here we have a plus b a squared minus a b plus b squared this is equal to 35 now from here we have that a plus b, this is less than a squared minus a b, then plus b squared. So, now adhering to this condition here, then the next step is to determine the prime factors of that 5. And these prime factors of that 5, we have that 5 times 1. We have 1 times that 5. We have here 7 times 5, and we have 5 times 7. Adhering to this quotation here, a plus b should be less than a squared minus a b plus b squared. Now, that 5 is greater than 1, so the first part is rejected, so we reject the first part. Then 1 is less than that 5, then this part is accepted. 7 is greater than 5, so this part is rejected. And then 5 is less than 7, and this is accepted. So we have case 1 here, and we have case 2 here. So let's start with case 1. In case 1, we have a plus b. Then here a squared minus a b plus b squared, this is equal to 1 times 30, 
5. And this implies that here we have a plus b, this is equal to 1. And we have a squared minus ab plus b squared, this is equal to 35. From the first part here, let's square both sides from here. This is equal to 1 squared. So that now we expand this equation here so that you have a squared plus b squared then plus 2ab, this is equal to 1. So, let's add, we have a squared minus ab plus b squared is equal to 35. Now, we have these two Rene equations here. We have a, now here we have two systems of Rene equations here. So, let's subtract these two systems of Rene equations so that we have a squared minus a squared this is equal to 0, then minus ab minus plus 2ab, this is equal to minus 3ab, then b squared minus b squared, this is equal to 0, then 35 minus 1, this is equal to 34. So we have minus 3ab, this is equal to 34. So let's divide both sides by minus 3. Here we have minus 3, and this implies that AB, this is equal to minus 34 over 3. Now, this implies that, remember here, A is greater than 0, and that B is greater than 0. So in this case, AB cannot be equal to minus 34 over 3. So in this case, this part is rejected. That is case 1 is rejected. So let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2. In case 2, we have a plus b. Then a squared minus ab. Then plus b squared. This is equal to 5 multiplied by 7. So we have that a plus b, this is equal to 5. And here we have a squared minus ab plus b squared, this is equal to 7. From the first part here, let's square both sides. So that now, here we have a squared plus b squared, then plus 2ab. This is equal to 5 squared, which is 25. Now, the first equation here is a squared minus ab plus b squared. This is equal to 7. The second equation here, we have a squared, then plus 2ab, then plus b squared. This is equal to 20. Five. Now, we have two systems of Rene equations here, so let's subtract these two equations. a squared minus a squared, this is equal to 0, minus ab minus 2ab, this is equal to minus 3ab, then b squared minus b squared, this is equal to 0, then this is equal to, now, we have 7 minus 25, this is equal to minus 18. So now, here we have minus 3ab, this is equal to minus 18, okay? So let's divide both sides by minus 3, and this implies that ab is equal to positive 6. And from here, let's make a to be the subject of the formula by dividing both sides by p, so that now a is equal to 6 over b. Now, from here, let's substitute a, which is 6 over b, into equation, in, the, in this equation here, which is a plus b is equal to 5. Now, substituting the value of a, which is 6 over b here, so we have 6 over b plus b, this is equal to 5. B is our number, so this is over 1, and 5 is our number, so this is over 1. 
So let's multiply both signs by b so that now b and b here simplifies so that we have 6 plus b times b this is b squared this is equal to 5 times b which is 5b now let's take 5b on the left hand side so that now we have here b squared minus 5b then plus 6 this is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation here this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. We can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. In this case, we have the product is equal to 6. The sum here is equal to minus 5. So we can identify two factors such that if you multiply these two factors, we are supposed to have a value of 6. If you add these two factors, we are supposed to have a value of minus 5. So these two factors, essentially, we have minus 3 and minus 2. So if you see minus 3 plus minus 2, this is equal to minus 5. Minus 3 times minus 2, this is equal to 6. So let's substitute these two factors. So that now we have b squared minus 3b, subtract 2b, then plus 6, this is equal to 0. Now from the first, we have two parts here. From the first part here, b is common, we can factor out b, so that we have b minus 3, then subtract. Now the second part here, 2 is common here. So we can factor out 2 so that we have b minus 3 from here. This is equal to 0. So b minus 3 is common so that we have b minus 3. Then we have b minus 2. This is equal to 0. Okay. So essentially here, this implies we have two parts here. b minus 3 is equal to 0. And we have b minus 2. This is equal to 0. So this implies that b1 is equal to 3. And here we have b2 is equal to 2. So we have the values of b here. b1 and b2. So let's solve for the corresponding values of a1 and a2. Now if you recall, we have that a is equal to 6 over b. A1 is equal to 6 over B1, which is 3. And this implies that A1 is equal to 2. Now, B2 is 2, so that this implies that A2 is equal to 6 over 2. And therefore, we have A2 is equal to 3. And therefore, A1, comma, B1, we have the first set of solution as 2, comma, 3. And we have that A2, comma, B2. This is the second set of solution here, which is 3, comma, 2. So this is A1, B1, and A2, B2. So let's solve, for, let's solve now for the value of N. Let's solve for the value of N from here. Now, if you recall, if you recall from here, we can say that let A be equal to, now here we have 3 raised to the power of n over 3, and we can say that let B be equal to 2 to the power of n over 3. Now, since we have the first set of solution here, we have 2 and 3. So let's substitute here. We have that 3 to the power of n over 3. This is equal to 2. And that b is equal to 3. And therefore, we have 3 is equal to 2 to the power of n over 3. Now, to solve for n here, let's compare the basis here. If you check the bases here, the bases are different, and because of different, 
because of different bases from this part here, then there will be no integer solution. From here, we cannot arrive to an integer solution because we have different bases. So this implies that the first so set of solution here, a1, b1, which is 2, comma 3, this is rejected. This is rejected. Now, let's focus on the second set of solution here. That is a2, b2, which is equal to 3, comma 2. Now, here we have 3 to the power of n of a 3. This is equal to a2, which is equal to 3. And we have that 2 to the power of n over 3. This is equal to b2, which is equal to 2. Now, if you check the bases here, the bases are common here. Remember, this is 3 raised to the power of 1. And since the bases are common, that is a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common, exponent n is equal to m. And therefore, we have that n over 3, this is equal to 1. To solve for n, we multiply both signs by 3, and therefore n is equal to 3. So we have the value of n as 3. Let's check what the value of n in the second part here. Again, the bases are common here. 2 is raised to the power of 1. Since the bases are common here, then n over 3, this is equal to 1. Multiplying both signs by 3, then this implies that n is equal to 3. So now we have the value of n, which is equal to 3. The next step from here is to verify that this value of n satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we end that 3 to the power of n plus 2 to the power of n. This is supposed to give us a value of 35. Substituting the value of n, then this implies we have 3 to the power of 3, then plus 2 to the power of 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 35. Now, 3 to the power of 3, this is 27, plus 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. This should give us a value of 35. Now, 25 plus 8, this is 35, which is equal to 35. The left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that n equal to 3 satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.